as far as we could tell, having a damn good time in the process. Though, as Karen McCarthy discovered, money doesn't always buy happiness. What do you can so say? This are we filming? Some, we yeah. Right. We are have we to filming? Of, of course, yeah. No, no, I, look, I make no apologies to anybody about the wealth I've created. I make no apologies to anybody of how I spend my money. And neither should you. No. So guilt never enters into my mind about anything. I don't do anything that I'm guilty of, either by commission or omission. Put it in your bloody pipe and smoke it. The ever confrontational, the always in control, Owen Glenn. That's it. Back in the South Pacific, relaxing this time. But not in New Zealand, the place he once called home. Well, the food's on. I'm going to have something to eat. It's on a tiny tropical island where he feels most comfortable. Not so many weeks ago, Glenn was in more hostile territory. Star turn in the political donation scandal, he was in Wellington vigorously defending his reputation. Hell hath no fury like a billionaire scorned. Before the general election. With the dust now settled, Owen Glenn, taking time out in Fiji, agreed to meet and talk, promising us open access to his world for a few days, which has brought us here to exclusive Malolo Lailai Island, where he has a home. We wanted to know, is he bitter? Why did he say what he said, do what he did? And just who is the man behind the money? There are people that would look at you and say, you're, you're Mr. Moneybags, you've got the flash homes, you've got the super yacht. Yeah, they're right. But I earned it. You earned it? Mm. They can do it, if they want to. The view from Glen's hilltop villa is spectacular. A valley level, big chief's house. And uh, an honour, because the Fijian people asked me to name it that. A recent acquisition, there have been extensive, expensive refurbishments. This is one of several residences he has around the world, plus the super yacht back in the Mediterranean. I have homes in New Zealand, Sydney, here, the boat, the big boat. Where'd, where do you call home? Well, I was hoping New Zealand, but they changed my mind, so I'm going to stay here. You know, I've got 1,000 Fijians that like me. I've got about 100 Kiwis. Never mind, I didn't mean that, because they're all nice. Give us a nice. Not bitter? No. <laughs> what? I haven't got time for that. The rest of the little thing, that's oh, look at it. Owen Glenn has been throwing his money around here, too. A generous benefactor to the local village, Salevu, just across the water from the resort island. The Glenn Family Foundation gives away vast amounts of money, has done for years, to charitable causes around the world. So far, it's spent $350,000 here. You've got to have a high standard of cleanliness. This needs to be repainted. Fixing up the village school, providing a water tank, a generator, even a breast screening clinic. But he has a long-term goal too, investing in agriculture and floriculture projects, the gift of self-sufficiency. Money gets things done, buys things. I mean, I could go and put my sweat toll and tears and dig a trench for the village. Okay, that's fair. Somebody needs to do that, that's all right. But I can do more with the money I, I have and I can create the opportunity. But large part of, if not all my philanthropy, almost all of it is, I will help you, but I insist that you learn to help yourself. Come back and cover. Tackle him. Don't look at him. Along with philanthropy and business, rugby is another of Owen Glenn's passions. Tackle him! Oh, come on. 32 teams are competing in a tournament on the island today. Keep possession, composure, composure. Two brought here by him. One, he flew all the way from California. Well done. But it's his local boys who are victorious. There'll be a hundred dollar bonus for each of them. Oh, 
In appreciation of all he's done for the village, Glenn's being inducted into the local tribe. They're making him an honorary chief, Ratu Owen Vuilawa Glenn. You can tell it means a lot to him. The gratitude he's enjoying here is a stark contrast to how he feels he was treated back in New Zealand. In the time we spend with Glenn, it's clear he's still smarting from that bruising encounter with politics. Were you hurt by what happened, by the way you were treated? Oh, yeah, yeah. But Why did you care? Why did you even give a toss? Well, somebody's got to fight for the rights of people, you know, and uh, I certainly intend to fight for my own rights. Big boys' games, big boys' rules. Surely you went into this with your eyes wide open. No, I didn't. I didn't expect that type of behaviour from the people I was trying to help. Why would I? They're politicians. So should nobody should ever believe them or support them? New Zealand's doomed. I'll guarantee you won't go under 36 between now and What do you think, Jim? It'll teeter. It'll, it'll flirt with it, but it may stay above it. Business overlaps with pleasure in Glenn's world. He's flown in his executives from Australasia and America for a budget meeting. Lunch at Maxim's in Paris. Whoever's right, pays. <laughs> Let's get the one that loses pays. <laughs> happy to join you. Good answer, Tim. His business is transport. He made his fortune moving things, founding the global freight forwarding giant OTS Logistics. Thanks for coming. Thank you for Thanks for having us. And don't forget, it's Ratu. <laughs> Ratu. 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 How much are you worth? Are, are you truly a I'm billionaire? I'm not going to say. That's, that's a private. Is that crass? Yeah, it is. What does it matter? Are you a billionaire? What does it matter? Do you know? In which currency? You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know? I have a rough estimate, yeah. Do you care? It's not... Measured against what? I mean, do I care? Well, it's nice to know, but it's not a driving force in my life to do, reach this figure or that figure or that figure. I have more than enough income to do what I do. Here's my answer to that question. He didn't come from money. Glenn was born and raised in Calcutta, his family fleeing India when he was 11 for the safety of New Zealand.